Hey guys, it's Jen. Um, I'm doing another video. Finally, it's been forever. Um, so this week I'm doing the Live Below the Line Challenge with my club and a couple friends. Um, for those of you guys who don't know what it is, it's basically where you live on $1.50 a day for your food. Um, so you go and shop with $7.50 for five days and that's going to be for your food the entire week. Um, I'm going to show you everything that I buy and what I make from it. Um, and I'm halfway there right now I'm on day three um, but yeah so far I'm just like missing ice cream and like being able to go on spontaneous food trips and stuff but um, you really realize how expensive um, eating out is and how expensive just like vegetables and like fruit is honestly and a lot of that comes from gov government subsidies which is why you can get like a dollar burger but you can't get a dollar salad it's pretty insane um in my mind but yeah so hopefully this helps you guys um if you guys want to do this challenge or something uh let's get to it all right so this is a 10 pound bag of rusted potatoes that i got for a dollar 99 and then this is just a bunch of produce that i can't afford obviously and meat so that is super uh, cheap for some reason um, more greens I can't afford, but there were lettuce that was there for $2.77 for 6 hedge, which is awesome. Um, meat as well, being more affordable than the veggie option. So I found a bunch of pasta, 7 ounce bags for 3 for a dollar, which was awesome. I grabbed two of those. Um, two cans of veggies, one was mixed, another one was peas, all for 69 cents a can. Um, and now I got a jar of marinara sauce, which was $1.49. Um, fruit that I can't afford, tears, tears, and veggies, frozen veggies that are cheap or more expensive than canned. So this is the end cost. I spent $6.91. I also grabbed a bag of lentils. As you can see, this is just everything that I got. Um, so now I'm going to divide all of my potatoes. I just used a food scale here um, and I divide them up by two pounds per pile so that I would have five days worth of food. So now I'm meal prepping and I used half a bag of lentils, one can of veggies, and one bag of pasta. So I'm going to be doing this twice um, throughout the week. Um, and here I am portioning out the uh, macaroni and then I'm going to add in all the veggies and lentils um, and I'm using a food scale so that I know how much to portion out each day so that I have enough um, meals for however much this makes. Um, and now I'm adding in the sauce. As you can see, it's at 46.55 ounces, but afterwards um, it adds up to about 58.4 ounces. So this gives me almost 20 ounces a day, which is a lot of food. I realized after portioning this out how much it was, um, which it really filled me up actually. So here are the three meals, and like I said, this is only for half the week. I also went to Trader Joe's to get three bananas for 57 cents, um, so now I'm at like $7.58. I'm going to have half a banana a day. So this is just the pasta that I made and I'm eating that while watching a video. And this is for brunch and then these are the potato fries I'm going to be making for dinner every night. I'm um, just soaking them in hot water, baking them at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes until they're golden brown and crispy like this and they're super good. I also had these with the ketchup packets that I stole from The Habit so they were free. Um, and yeah, so here's some potato chips that I made with an extra potato. And now let's get into the macros. So to do this, I just did an average of all the pasta that I made. So I did make six meals, however, I took all of the calories from all the ingredients and divided them into five for this. Um, and then I also have all the lentils and veggies in there separately, um, along with the pasta sauce, and as you can see, the respective calories. Um, and I added in half a banana um, per day, but I didn't have this like every single day. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, it's 1,456 calories on average, um, and 
I also hit all of my macros um, other than fat and for protein I actually exceeded it with 54.4 grams of protein most of it from the lentils um, this is chronometer by the way it's a really cool website as you can see you can um, look at what food gave you what macro and micro and these are just my micros um, I got over a hundred percent of my daily fiber um, all of my vitamin A and vitamin C, although no vitamin B12 because there's no animal products um, in there and I could take supplements for that or use nutritional yeast, but I won't because I want to keep this under $1.50. Um, and so yeah, here's all this. Also by the way, um, not having vitamin B12 this week isn't really affecting me at all. Um, so yeah. And that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry I sound a little bit rushed in all these voiceovers. I just like couldn't keep up with the video. <laughs> but yeah, that was everything I made and those fries are super super good. I highly recommend you guys try them. Um, just bake them at like 425 to 450 depending on your oven. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys some other time. Till then, bye!